guys, it is day three of the Sweet Spring Read series. Today we are talking about old people. Old people as main characters in books. These are all books that have been sitting on my shelves for a while and I still haven't read them, but I've got quite a few to go through with you. I've got seven books here to go through with you, so go and grab yourself a nice cup of tea and let's get into it. First book I want to share with you is Lillian Boxfish Takes a Walk. And this is kind of dual timelines. We follow Lillian in 1984. She's 85 years old and she's on her way to a party and she decides to walk there. Her uh, son is worried about her because he doesn't like her on the streets of New York alone, uh, but she's lived in New York all of her life and she doesn't really mind the walk and she as she is walking is thinking about how New York has changed and how it hasn't. In her youth in the 1930s she worked her way up to writing copy for Macy's and became the highest paid advertising woman in the country. And I think we kind of dive into that experience for her and we follow the course of her life. It sounds really wonderful. This is another book that Russell over at Ink and Paper Blog absolutely loved. Actually, he probably loved a lot of these books because he seems to enjoy like elderly characters in fiction. So I'm really excited about this one. It sounds like a quiet but really interesting novel. Next up, you guys are going to hate me that I still haven't read this, A Man Called Uwe by Frederick Bachman. Why haven't I read this yet? I don't know. But this book follows a very grumpy old man. He likes things just so. He's someone who is going to chase you off of his lawn. And uh, one day his whole life is kind of thrown into chaos because new neighbors move in and it's uh, I think a young family with their daughters move in and he's not happy with it at first but I think this is the um, the warming of Uwe so I am looking forward to reading this one I'm sorry that I still haven't but it's on my shelves just waiting for me next up is the 100 year old man who climbed out the window and disappeared by Jonas Jonasson and this is about an elderly man. I think he's turning 100 and there's this big party planned for him and he's like, you know, just, I don't want it. So he literally climbs out the window and leaves. He goes on this little journey all on his own and I believe on that journey we start to dive into all of the things that this man has seen over the course of his life. It says that he has seen some of the most important events of the 20th century and he actually played a key role in them. So that sounds fascinating to me and I want to know where he goes and what he did. Next up I've got Major Pettigrew's Last Stand by Helen Simonson. This takes place in the English countryside and we've got Major Ernest Pettigrew who is retired. He has this very quiet life and he approaches life in a very particular way. Everything has to be just so and he uh, believes in honor and duty and decorum and a properly brewed cup of tea. Now he is alone and lonely. He strikes up a friendship with the Pakistani shopkeeper from the village um, and it's about that friendship. And it sounds absolutely wonderful. I would love to know if this shopkeeper is able to like kind of break him from his, you know, rigorous view of life and how life should just be just show just so. So I'm eager for that one. And then I got two books that are kind of a duology. I've got The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry and also The Love Song of Queenie Hennessy. So in The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry, 
Harold goes to the mailbox to retrieve the mail. He gets a letter there and he decides to just keep walking because he needs to go and help someone out. He needs to save their lives. And I believe that that person is Miss Queenie Hennessy that he's going to. So you, I, I think you can read them interchangeably. Like you can start with Miss Queenie or you can start with Harold. I'll probably start with Harold if I'm being honest and then find out what was going on with Miss Queenie Hennessy that made him need to go and save her. So those are the books that are, you know, really based around elderly characters. Do you guys like that kind of storyline? Is that a favorite of yours? I feel like I haven't really given them a real shot because they're just sitting on my shelves waiting, begging me to read them. Stay tuned for tomorrow, which is day four. We're going to be diving into gothic romance and I'll see you then. Bye guys!